So this is where the calculus starts to kick in and the algebraic rigor that's necessary to solve these questions starts to kick in. So this is the part that I talked about that we're going to have to do questions that are really, really long and with lots of steps. And if long we're careful about it, then it'll be important. So the question that we just did was relatively easy because the function was relatively easy, 2x squared. So when we sub stuff in, we're only subbing into a nice little thing like 2x squared. This one, the function's more difficult. Not only is it a bigger parabola, so it's got an x squared and an x and a number, but it's also negative, so we're going to have to deal with that. So, but we can manage this, so we're going to try our best. So to find the slope, it's m equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f at a, well, let's actually sub in a right now, so 3 plus h minus f at 3 all over h. So plugging in 3 plus h is going to be more complicated because the function itself is more complicated. So it's negative bracket x squared, so 3 plus h squared, plus 4 times x, so three plus 4 times 3 plus h, plus 1. Minus, now we're going to sub in 3. This is less complicated because you're subbing in a number. All over h. And again, don't forget that whole divide by h part because... It's easy to lose track of it. I'm going to have to square 3 plus h, so I'm going to do that again off to the side. 3 plus h times 3 plus h. Rainbow, rainbow is 9 plus 3h plus 3h plus h squared. <laughs> so 9 plus 6h plus h squared. negative bracket 9 plus 6h plus h squared. I'll rainbow the 4 next. So that's plus 12 plus 4h. Plus 1 doesn't have anything to rainbow with, so that's all there. Minus, now I'm going to start trying to solve the number part of this. It's negative and the 3 is squared. Only the 3 is squared, not the negative. So be careful on that. So it's 3 squared is 9, and there's a minus in front of it. So 9, negative 9, plus 12, plus 1. All over h. Because I've been careful and deliberate, it does make the question longer, but it or minimizes the chances for mistakes. People get so want to do this so fast that they try and do a couple lines in one step, and that's where those small little arithmetic mistakes or you forget a negative sign happens. So just I encourage you to slow down and, and take your time. So now I'm going to rainbow the negative 9. Some would have done it before, but I'm going to do it in this step here so I don't make a mistake. It means a lot more writing, and that's okay with me. So this becomes negative 9 minus 6h minus h squared plus a 12 plus a 4h plus a 1. This is all in this big square bracket. Minus, now I'm going to add those numbers together. So negative 9 plus 12 plus 1 is, uh, well, actually I'm going to leave it. This is a little trick that I'm going to show you that you might like. You can actually add those up if you want. I think it's four, right? But watch what happens when I actually drop these big square brackets. So if I drop the square brackets and try and I'm not even going to collect like terms. Watch what happens. I 
I'm subtracting everything in the second square bracket. So it's like rainbowing a negative into the second square bracket. So that minus 9, since I'm subtracting a minus 9, it becomes a plus 9. And I'm subtracting a 12 and I'm subtracting a 1. Can you see why I didn't actually add those up? Yeah, so everything's going to have a partner to cancel out, right? So you see this negative 9 here is going to cancel with this 9. This 12 here is going to cancel with this negative 12. And this 1 is going to cancel with this negative 1. Now, that's just a little trick that I did. You could have done this and said this was actually a minus bracket 4. And if you had collected this number and this number and this number, you would end up with a plus 4 over here. And they would have cancelled. Okay, so it, it doesn't matter if you collect like terms and then cancel or leave them like this and don't cancel. Totally up to you. Regardless, I'm going to write down what I have left and maybe do a little bit of collecting like terms. So if you notice, I've got uh, a minus 6h and a plus 4h. So limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2h. And then I've just got this negative h squared all over h. Could I have taken the limit in the line before? No, because I had all those numbers. I still can't take the limit yet. But now, at least, I can divide by h. I couldn't before because I had those constants without h's in it. They all canceled. And so now I can divide by h. And what I'm left with is the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2 minus h. Can I take the limit now? Yes. So I can stop writing it and plug in h equals 0, and I get the slope of the tangent, in this case, is negative 2.